What's going on guys? I've got here a 2000 Dodge Durango and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the different fuses for the headlights, the fog lights, the high beams and the low beams and the daytime running lights. So behind this cover, which we remove by pulling on the front here, we're gonna see a fuse puller that you can use as well as some spare fuses that may come in handy. Now, the first fuse I'll point out to you is fuse number one. This is an important fuse because power from this fuse is sent to the headlight relay, which is built into the fuse box that's under the hood. Now, if you have daytime running lights, you will need to check fuse number two, which is this 15 amp fuse. Power from this fuse is sent to the daytime running lamp module. And as you can see, this fuse is blown. So that's what a blown fuse looks like. The final fuse for us to check under here is fuse 14 which is a 15 amp fuse here. This fuse is good. Power from, use, from fuse 14 actually goes to the switch itself. Now for the rest, we're gonna have to move under the hood. Yeah. Now the way that the bulbs are set up on this car is they actually receive constant power. And when the bulb is turned on, it's turned on by being sent a ground signal. So you should always see power at the bulb connector. Uh, and that power comes from these fuses that are under this cover here. So there's actually three for us to look at. There's this first 15 amp fuse here. This fuse sends power to the passenger side. So both the passenger side, high beam and low beam, get power from that 15 amp fuse. Skipping down to this one, as you can guess, this is for the driver's side, high beam and low beam. For the fog light, that is receiving power from this 20 amp fuse right here. So yeah, I hope that this information was helpful and was a good starting point in troubleshooting your headlights or your fog lights. Please let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, any advice about troubleshooting the headlights on your Dodge Durango. Thanks for watching.